Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is Soul Skate Shop YouTube channel. There are good ways to fall and there are bad ways to fall. <laughs> Welcome back to this new video. Today I'm gonna explain you a few different falling techniques and learn you how to fall with less pain. The worst thing that you can do is when you fall is to keep your body stretched. So if you fall like this, <coughs> ow, it hurts maximum. No, that's a lot of damage. The best thing you can do is to bend your knees all the way and then just fall either forward or sideways like this. The way to fall forward is with knee pads and the knee pads that you use with those have a plastic cap like this, a hard plastic cap and if you do it correctly you can slide over your plastic cap so this technique is used for high speed forward falls and people that do this are either speed skaters or like people that skate in a straight line really fast or preferred skaters that skate in a really high half pipe like this. The way to do this technique is always step, step one, bend your knees all the way and then put your knees to the ground and preferably don't use your hands with this technique. It's okay if you then also fall forwards, but look at me from the side. You can see the best way to do it is to have your weight actually really to the back and then slide on your knees like this. Okay, cool. So, the second falling technique is to fall on your side. And if you do this really well, and if you're trained with falling on your side really well, you don't really need knee pads anymore. But if you do want to wear knee pads, I would recommend these knee pads from Alcatraz, or there's a couple of other brands that have similar products. And I really like this one. You can wear it underneath your pants, and this one is super good because it protects here this little bone that you have on the side and I always fall on this little bone on the side and you wear these underneath your pants. So it, instead of having a plastic cap that you need to wear over your pants with the, with the side technique, you have uh, a knee pad without plastic. And the technique goes like this. Step one is always the same. It's always to get down all the way to the ground, guide yourself towards the ground instead of having the fall take over and uh, force you to the ground. So if you're like this, you put one hand to the side and you tilt your feet like this, put one hand to the side and then just sit like this, kind of like a mermaid on a rock. If you are really good at your falling techniques, then it relieves stress and you are more likely to go out and skate and have fun. And that's in the end what we all want, right? All right, so we discussed falling forward, we discussed falling sideways, but actually most people tend to fall backwards. And what is the best way to fall backwards? It's again, always step one is always the same. Bend your knees, get down to the ground as far as possible on your own terms. And then instead of going like this with two hands behind you, the best way to fall backwards is to fall sideways. So if you tend to go backwards, try to uh, turn your shoulders a little bit and change your backwards fall into a sideways fall. Knowing how to fall is a part of skating. So I would recommend every skater before they go out and start their session to get friendly with the ground, get acquainted uh, so that you're, you're not afraid anymore. The ground is actually always there to help you. If you look at it like, uh, like a good friend, he will always be there to save you. But if you look at the ground like your enemy and think like, I don't wanna fall, I don't wanna fall. In the end, you're gonna fall anyway. And if you try to avoid your fall, your fall is twice as hard. But as soon as you notice that you're falling, if you immediately go towards your big friend, who is always there to help you, then you're kind of like save yourself. And once you are on the ground, you can no longer fall. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe. I like the video.